Hey everybody, it's Nate from Explorers.life. I teach people how to build DIY campers, and in this video, I am going to teach you how to install MC4 connectors onto the end of a wire. Now this is episode number five in a series I'm making covering all the very basic skills that you'll need to tackle the next electrical project in your camper. Now we've already covered how to cut and how to strip wire, which are two necessary skills that you'll need to be able to do in order to install those MC4 connectors that we're talking about in this video. Links to both of those videos can be found in the video description. MC4 connectors are incredibly common on most solar panels. Generally, on the back of a solar panel, there are two short wires with an MC4 connector attached to each one. The positive wire is generally the male end, and the negative wire is generally the female end, but it's always worth double checking that with a multimeter, which I'll teach you how to do next week. Now, if you don't understand why I call these the male and female ends, I'm not trying to be crude, it's just what they're called, and it's really, really important that you remember which is which going forward. Now, if you're giggling about this, and you just, I just don't know what to tell you, because it's going to get way worse throughout the entire video, but let's just pull ourselves together and get started. Now, for this example, I'm going to be wiring a positive extension wire from the solar panel where the other end would eventually go to the charge controller. Since the positive wire out of the solar panel is the male MC4 connector, we need to wire a female MC4 connector onto the extension wire. Now it's worth noting that there are two different types of metal connectors inside of the MC4 connectors, a male end and a female end. And here's where it gets confusing. To make a female MC4 connector, you need to crimp on a male copper pin. Now I'm going to be putting my male copper pin into my ratcheting wire crimpers, place the stripped wire into the open end of the male copper pin, and squeeze my crimpers until they release. Give the connector a solid tug just to make sure it's secure. Now, disassemble a female MC4 connector by unscrewing the end cap, place the end cap, strain relief, and compression sleeve onto the wire, and then push the female MC4 connector body onto the male pin until it clicks into place. Place the compression sleeve in place and reattach the end cap. And that's it. Now you have a female MC4 connector ready to attach to the male connector on your solar panel. Now, assembling a male connector is the exact same method, just using the opposite parts. Crimp the female copper connector onto the stripped wire, disassemble a male MC4 connector and install the end cap, the strain relief, and compression sleeve. And then push the male MC4 connector onto the wire until it clicks into place. Reassemble the MC4 connector. And we're good to go. Now we have a male MC4 connector ready to connect to the female MC4 connector on the negative side of the solar panel. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna have links to the MC4 connectors that I use as well as links to the tools in the blog post that I've made for this video. And I've also made some graphics over there that you can use as some reference material uh, until you commit this stuff to memory. Now next week, we're going to continue on our camper wiring basic series and I'm going to teach you some of the very, very basics of how to use a multimeter. Now I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, I'd appreciate you sharing it with somebody who could use it and give this video a thumbs up. Leave any questions you've got in the comments section below. Subscribe if you want to see more DIY camper building videos, and I will see you in the next video.